What is up, you guys? It's your boy Grim back with another war recap, and we're here still in DA Republic. I told you guys we'll win. I told you guys. I knew we would do it. 58 to 56. We crushed. Well, we didn't crush these guys, but we won by, you know, two stars. That's good enough. That's good enough. You got those wars, man. You only win by one, two. It's still a win. It's still a win, man. So let's just go ahead and get this war recap underway. Let's look at a couple of these attacks. Let's see. Uh, one of the attacks that I wanted to show was from your boy awesome man awesome man he did an awesome job here on this base you get it get it no you don't feel me okay no but awesome did a nice nice job man four healers does the queen walk he knows i like the queen walk one of my favorite strats queen gonna do work on a couple of compartments here he lays down a whizzy gonna try to make that hoe go to the right where he wants her to go he wants her to meet up back up with the rest of the crew down below where he's gonna start his initial attack uh, i believe he got the shattered does he got the shattered i think there's a max golem and he got to level four in his own camps so he's gonna do some work with the queen right here she's trying to take out that licks camp he got she got the expo and a couple cannons focusing on her and a mortar dropping down on him but she just no worry man she got the healer she's got the healers he ends up popping the ability a little early but still he had to he didn't want that hole to die on him so he pops the ability angels are able to replenish her back up get those lives back up and the golem's going in gets to pull a dragon and a couple loons come out of course that's the standard cc what seem what people seem to be doing uh but that thing gets roasted that cc gets roasted man i think no he don't drop the poi i don't think he drops the poi on him he's just gonna let that queen do work in a minute here he's gonna end up let, letting loose these redheads drop down the jump to get into the core i'm getting a little tongue tied drop down the jump to get into the core redhead's gonna get up in there and they're gonna go roast this base real quick they're gonna get into that core they got expos ad's teslas that don't matter and the queen they're gonna take care of her real nice gonna rage them up make sure you rage them up that way that firepower is there that way the firepower is there and heal them heal them that's important too you got to heal those redheads you got to make sure they get back up in the health that way they're able to finish it for you man got to make sure they be able to finish it for you king end up taking a walk which don't seem to be too much of a problem because he ends up sweeping his base right up from under its feet like that he brought 14 loons for cleanup gonna release them out of the back end and then he releases some hay spells to further their quickness gonna get them in there real quick take care of the rest of the defenses the teslas air sweepers whatever the case may be he done mop this base up real nice and clean he clorox it and let it just be man just beat it to death he squashed it into the ground very very nice job from awesome did an awesome job very, very, and he got the poi flex, man. Almost forgot about that. Flex on that base, man, when you can. Let that poi down. Let that hay spell down. If you got the spells left, just flex on it and let it know. Slap it in the face, man. Nice job, awesome. All right. And I got another attack coming in from your boy Fluffy Chicken, man. Fluffy Chicken, man. He did he did a nice little go wipe here. Not too often do you see go wipe attacks get three star. Because a go wipe attack, you already you guys already know, it's a two star strat. I mean, you can get the three star every now and then. You get a three star coming in with a go wipe, but most of the time it's a, just a solid two star strat. Whether it be a, a TH9 or a TH10, TH10, it's a two star strat. So he lets down the few wall breakers, get through that first compartment, gonna lay down the jump so that they get to the core. His king is gonna get to the core. He's gonna let down some uh, some sushi rolls, some pekkas right here. Some pekkas gonna get up in there. They're gonna do work, and then he lays down the hill. Probably could have placed that hill a little bit more further into the base, a little bit more deeper so that it has maximum coverage over those defenses. But no matter what, man, still you know not bad. Just a little bit more deeper. Next time, just get a little bit more deeper. That's what she said, and you'll be good. Uh, Queen ends up taking a walk, going around to the outside. Look, he brought Max Hoggies in the CC. Uh, these Hoggies are MVP. I'll tell you what, man. These guys killed it. They ended up taking out nine defenses, I, I think it was. Somewhere around nine. One, two, three. Uh, they take out the Woods Tower, the AD. Uh, the expo they come in and take out the tesla lays down the hill replenish all his army back up those piggies that just came in they're gonna get replenished back up i like how he waited till the double giant bombs that were in the core they got taken care of by the golems and the king and the pekkas those were put out of the question didn't have to worry about the piggies getting roasted by that that's when he let him in and they will take out nine defenses by themselves so very very nice job coming in from fluffy chicken he marked this base and he let it be he didn't flex on his base he could have he had the poi he just needed to let it down in the middle could have flexed on it man but you didn't you chose not to i guess you you're a respectful guy you don't care about all that flex and stuff but i would have <laughs> oh a nice job fluffy chicken nice nice and then i was gonna go ahead and show you guys 
my two star attack that I did on the number one because that that was actually pretty nice. You guys already know from the last video, you saw my live my my my, uh, my live three star attack. I did that with a goho. You guys saw that, but let's go ahead and check out the number one base that I two star. I just got this. I know I was uh. I was thinking about coming in with earthquakes. I decided not to do that. I was a little sketchy. I wasn't coming in with a three-star strat on this base. I didn't want that pressure at all. I didn't want that pressure, man. I didn't want. I didn't want to be in the hot seat like that. I didn't want to roast myself in on this base. So I just came in with a you know a solid two-star strat. If you do it right, gonna bring in three jump, three jumps. One right there, one up top, and one to the right. Two golems on that side, two golems on the other, and the hardcore, uh, oh no, that's only two golems also. So, you know, nice split between all of them, and we're just going to zoom in a little bit. Look at the whizzies I got going. I knew I had to bring extra whizzies. That's why I didn't bring the seventh golem, because there's a lot of stuff right there, a lot of trash. I thought I needed a little bit more whizzies than just 15, because with seven golems, I would only be able to bring 15. So I thought, man, I think I'm going to need more. Let me drop a golem and bring in some more whizzies my king ends up getting roasted early i didn't even realize it didn't pop his ability i didn't see that single target uh inferno that disco and focusing in on him i was like oh shoot oh shoot my king just died he just got roasted but i thought the raid was over for a second i was like nah i can't give up man i can't get up i can't give up i gotta bring the firepower i gotta two star this base i gotta do it so i dropped my rage Wizzies were getting powered up. Now they got roasted. So all that's left is a queen, man. All that's left is a queen. I still got her ability. About to pop it here in a second and take out that disco. Still got an expo focusing on her, but here we go. She goes invisible, cloaks herself. Archers are coming out. They're helping take out that TH and the queen. She got it. She got it, man. That's it. So very clutch on my ho's part. My ho took out the TH and she got the 50% force. So there we go. That was nice. Very, very, very good coming in from Grim, man. You did a nice job nice job all right so yeah we ended up winning this war i like to thank uh da republic for having me man they're a real fun group uh if you guys want to check them out i'll go ahead here oh wait here we go where are we at uh right there there is the name of the clan and their clan tag so if you want to check them out they are looking for people that says in the description of their active war clan they do want you to meet a certain donation ratio but uh other than that man you know they they're more than welcome to take you also have a bendo group chat if you want to contact them there but yeah check them out man great group of guys they do it in war let's just go ahead and show off their war log a little bit you know they got one two three four five six wins right there in a row another you know six seven eight maybe wins right there and then yeah they do it man they get it done they get it done look at that a lot of green right there and that part they ran through a little bit of a rush pat rough patch a little bit i mean every clan does it you know but they do have a lot of green though so there you go thank you guys once again for letting me in da republic man you know you guys showed me some love and let me post some of your guys attacks i really really love it uh thank you guys for watching remember to subscribe to my channel so you can see all my other future vids and push that thumbs up button if you liked it i'll talk to you guys later peace